Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn how to add the vectors to the web. So first we will learn about the vector graphics. What is this vector graphics and how we will be using this one in the HTML. Let's try to see this one. Vector graphics are very useful in many circumstances. They have small file size and are highly scalable. So they don't pixelate when zooming in or blowing up to the large size. So vector graphics are what I can say is there are these are type, uh, type of images. So which are very useful in many many reasons because they have a false small file size when compared to the PNG JPG images and are also there are highly scalable. <clears throat> so when you want to zoom the uh, what I can say is when you want to zoom this uh, image. So if you are trying to zoom more means it will try to pixelate and if it is more uh, large size means you will be able to see the blur image. Whereas in the vector graphics, the image will not happen like that. On the web, you will work mostly with the two types of images. One is raster images and another one is vector images. So normally in the web, so we, we used to use with the normally the two types of images that is vector images and the raster images. Let's try to see what is the difference between those two. Raster images are defined using a grid of pixels. So raster images means nothing but what I can say is those are PNG, JPG, GIF file. So these are all called as raster images itself. A raster image file contains information showing exactly where each pixel is to be placed and exactly what color it should be. So raster images, it contains the information. You will be able to see if you try to open this one in the notepad, uh, any PNG file or JPG file. So you'll be able to see lots of code in that one. So every pixel, what is the color it should to display? What is the things it need to have? So every pixel information will be written as a code in the PNG or JPG image. So popular web raster formats include bitmap, PMP, PNG, JPG, and also the GIF format. So these are all called as a raster images. So raster images works in a such a way that every frame where each pixel, the code is written, what color it should be like that. So whereas come to the vector images. So vector images are defined using algorithms. A vector image file contains shape and path defines definitions <clears throat> that the computer can use to work out what the image should look like. So it contains image file, a vector image file contains the shape and path definitions. It contains only the shape and path definitions. So how the computer can work. The SVG file format allows us to create powerful vector graphics for use in the web. So this is the SVG file format, SVG format. So SVG format full form is nothing but scalable vector graphics. So this format is used to create as powerful vector graphics for use on the web. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the difference between the difference becomes apparent when you zoom in the page. Now you will be able to understand that. So why need we need to use the vector images and the uh, raster images like PNG? Why we need to use this? So the main difference you will observe between the PNG and the SVG file. So when you take the PNG file and you try to zoom it, so it will get pixelated. So you will try to see it. So the PNG image becomes pixelated as you zoom in because it contains information on each and every pixel. Could be When it is zoomed, each pixel increased in size to fill multiple pixels on screen. So the image starts to look blocky. <laughs> so that is the reason PNG image when you try to zoom in, you will try to you will look it blurry the vector the vector image however continues to block continues to look nice and crisp because no matter what the size it is the algorithms used to work out <coughs> the shapes in the image with the values being scaled as it bits bigger and another one is vector image files are much lighter than their raster equivalent so vector image file size if you try to see they are much lighter than the raster images because they only need to hold a handful of algorithms rather than information on every pixel on the image individually. Now let's try to look at this SVG file format. So how we can write this vector graphics. SVG is an XML based language for describing the vector images. <coughs> it is basically markup like HTML. So it will be same like HTML only except that you have got many different elements for defining the shapes. So something like you will be having the shapes like rectangle, circle, text like this you will be having. You may you want to appear in your image and the effects you want to apply these shapes. 
SVG is for making up graphics, not content. So it is used for making up the graphics, not content. At the simple end, simplest end of the spectrum, you have got elements for creating simple shapes like circle and rect. <clears throat> so let's try to see this one, how we can create this SVG. I will try to show you the simple SVG, how we can create. So here I am using, I am creating a main.svg. Okay. So here we are having a main.svg. Whenever you are trying to create an SVG file, first you need to open a tag, something like SVG and SVG like this. So here you need to make sure the width <coughs> is equal to 100% and height is equal to 100% so not 100% so whatever the thing you want so for example let's say that i am i want to have something like 30 and the height should be around 50 let's say assume <clears throat> and here so if you want you can mention the version also version version of the svg is 1.1 something like this <clears throat> in this svg first we will de define the rectangle okay so i want to draw a rectangle <clears throat> and the width is around 100% to match the full, full width and height so height is of 100% I want to fill the color so I want to add the background color of black let's say show now let's try to see this output in the browser so almost all the browsers supports this SVG file format if you try to see here <coughs> you are not able to see the code we are able to see some what I can say is the the code so if in order to get this one what you need to do is you need to add the XML file format that is XML NS is equal to HTTP www.w3.org slash 2000 slash SVG. Okay, so we uh, we don't want to discuss more about these things. So when we try to learn about the SVG and all those things in that course, so the graphics, learning the graphics and all those things, we'll try to learn about this SVG. Now we have screen. So now if I try to refresh this page, see now a black rectangle has been drawn <coughs> with a width of 30 and a height of 50. So if you want like this means so for example i can take a width of 50 and a height of 30 now horizontally the vertical like this it will come so this is how you can draw the svg now inside this svg i want to add the rectangle then you can add a rect uh, sorry circle so i can add a circle okay circle i can add it and if you want to add the circle circle will have something like x axis x axis you can add some uh, we can add 10 let's try to see how the output will come so y axis so at top it should be at 20 and now what i can do is i can fill it with blue color let's fill it with the blue color and the radius we need to give the radius also something like 20 okay let's see how could the, how come this output will be now if you try to see here the circle is somewhat it is showing like this so for example if you want you can also add 20 radius i can decrease it to 10 so uh, y axis it should be 10 okay now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output see the circle is something like this so this is how we can create the svg graphics so what we have did we had did it very simple so svg we have added the xmlns and we have added one rectangle which should be of color black and total width it need to take and the circle we have added in inside this one so we are having we are adding the x axis and the y axis and we are filling it with the blue and the radius we are giving that's it this is a simple svg graphic that we have disk that we have created now if you try to zoom it so how much you zoom it so it will be if this one will not be pixelated for example if i want to show you something like uh, let me uh, what where is this image.html right so let me try to so here if i want to zoom it this one so i cannot see this one will be pixelated so whereas this vector graphics will not be pixelated so that is the thing i want to explain you so now there is some advantages and disadvantages of using this vector graphics and also this pixelated thing let's try to see it svg has some additional advantages besides those described so far text in vector images remain accessible which is also benefit for seo so if there is any text in the vector images those remain those will be accessible by the seo that means search engines svgs lend themselves well to styling or scripting because each component of the image is an element that can be styled via CSS or script via JavaScript. So styling and scripting each component of the image, each part of the image like rectangle, circle, we have written it right. So each part we can do it, you can style it via CSS or via JavaScript. So why would anyone want to use the raster image over SVG? So this is the thing. So now we have only, uh, so many advantages means. So why we need, why we will be using this raster images over SVG? So well SVG also has some disadvantages. SVG can get complicated very quickly. 
so it can get complicated very very quickly why because it's small, smaller images and smaller things we can do with the svg but if the comp if the image is very complex means so the code will become very complex meaning that file sizes can grow complex svgs can also take significant processing time in the browser so if the complex image is there means the code will be grow the code will be very big and also the browser will take some time to process the image svg can be harder to create than the raster images as we already seen right everything will be a code and xml based so it will be very harder to create than the raster image depending on what kind of image you are trying to create if it is a simple image means we can create with the svg but it is a very big image means a complex image means it is very difficult to write the code for the svg svg is not supported in the older browsers and another disadvantage is the svg is, is not supported in the older browsers so may not be suitable if you need support for the older versions of the internet explorer so with your website svg started being supported as of ie9 so from ie9 onwards it will be supported older version of internet explorer does not support the AC, svg so if you want to use this uh, if you want to support older browsers also means svg may not be suitable for you so these are the disadvantages of this svg but more advantages are more for the svg so most of the times we will be using for the icons and all those things svg only so in the next video what we will try to do is how can we integrate these svg files in our different ways of integrating the svg file in our html document let's try to see in this video hope you understood about this vector graphics and svg file and you we have also seen about the small demo how we can create an svg file also it's a simple thing it consists of so many elements will be there so we will try to discuss in another course why why because this is not uh, relevant to this one so you will be having rectangle circle so you'll be able to understand the basic thing so this is how we'll be creating the svg so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you